In this video will cover the process to align the Tsunami 5054 and uh, 5012 products via the AAD, uh, the Antenna Alignment Display Tool. Uh, AAD is a tool used to assist with aligning of the units by monitoring the real-time SNR via Telnet uh, CLI or via the serial connection. The installation procedures documented in this video are only recommended practices. Professional installation is always recommended and in some cases required by law. If professional installation services are required, please contact us and we can provide recommendations to local integrators if available in your area. The hardware portion is activated when the provided serial dongle is connected to the back of the unit and the warp link is active. Once inserted, the unit will start beeping. The faster and louder the beeps are, the stronger the SNR is. This only applies to radios that have a serial connection. The 5054 series have the same three type of commands as the 8800 series do. They do slightly differ. The ones that are the same are set AAD enable local. And the command itself is different. You have to put set in front of the command. In the 8000 series, remember you did not. This is going to show you your local. Okay. Down here, you have your set AAD enable remote. That's going to show your remote side. And then last but not least, you have your set AAD enable average. Now this is going to combine the average between your local and remote and it's going to show you the SNR of both. Once the AAD command has been activated, the screen will display the current SNR values to the local side of the link. As the antennas are moved either vertically or horizontally, the SNR will either rise or fall, depending on the distance of the link and other environmental factors. The SNR should fall between 30 dB to 50 dB. As both sides of the link will have to be aligned several times to achieve the best possible SNR values, the realignment process might take a few tries. As mentioned, one of the options is to look at the link from both ends, from your local and remote. For that, the command is AAD enable. As you will see here, it will show you the signal, the noise, and the SNR for both local and remote. And uh, depending on what radio we have, we have A1, A2, and an A3. Uh, for my particular link, I'm using a MP8100 that's using A1 and A2. 3 and a A25 which is using A1 and A2 so as you could see that's the reason why I have all of them but once again you could see my local and remote as it's going down and as I can move it left right up and down vertical horizontal the SNR the signal is going to change to learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim